The protected waters of the National Marine Sanctuaries help preserve our delicate ocean resources. Off the coast of California, the sanctuaries cover more than 9,500 square miles of ocean habitat. It's a combined expanse of water larger than the entire state of New Hampshire. Patrolling such an immense area by boat would take days. But now, sanctuary managers have an eye in the sky and can cover the whole region in a matter of hours. And in the different um, areas, you, you've got different levels of protection. Today we were out in Cordell Bank in Gulf of the Fairlands National Marine Sanctuary. We were doing distribution and abundance surveys of users, counting boats, how many are out there, what they're up to. We got the 44 and the Bodega Marine Labs research boat and a recreational power boat. We got three. Today's mission is just one of many things we do with the NOAA Twin Otter aircraft. We do sea turtle surveys at the National Marine Fisheries Service. We have done a marine mammal and bird observations at the Davidson Seamount, 70 miles from shore, very inaccessible from ships. You know, it's, a, it's a day's journey just to get there on a ship. We can go from Bodega Bay to Half Moon Bay, surveying everything in between, all in a day's flight. It's that efficiency of being able to get that snapshot that is a critical tool for us as resource managers. My name is Lieutenant Jason Mansour. I'm an aircraft commander with the NOAA Corps. And many people don't know what that is. NOAA Corps is the nation's seventh uniform service. We operate ships and aircraft uh, for the Department of Commerce and National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. Well, behind me right now is the aircraft I fly. That's the NOAA Twin Otter aircraft. And right now, this is called the quote unquote West Coast Twin Otter and it's based in Monterey. It's a high wing aircraft. It's powered by two Pratt & Whitney PT-6 engines. Those engines are, are known to be very, very reliable. And PT-6, these engines are turbine engines. So they're not piston, they're turbines. So in each of those engines are actually two uh, aerodynamically coupled turbines that help power the aircraft. The aircraft is 55 feet long and the wingspan is 65 feet. As you can see it has a fixed gear system which is nice so you don't have to worry about putting the landing gear down. That's fantastic. Uh, it's comfortable flying at speeds. We can go as slow comfortably about 80, 90 knots during survey operations. Uh, transit speeds 140 knots but of course we have a tailwind that can easily go, go up to 160 at times, no problem. Flying low and slow can be incredibly challenging. Aircraft need to maintain sufficient speed for lift. The Twin Otter is a rugged, stable, and versatile aircraft that's designed to handle low airspeeds, making it ideal for the varied missions patrolling the sanctuaries. It's not like a car where, okay, just ease off the gas and you're fine. Blessed wind over the aircraft can affect the pilot's ability to control the aircraft. And it's important to be stable and to fly slow because a lot of the missions we perform along the West Coast, uh, they're kind of falling into the category of living marine resource. So these missions are designed to be 1,000 feet above the ground, 100 knots, and the low altitude and slow airspeed are best suited to give the observers the best chance to detect whatever it is looking for, essentially data acquisition. So if you can imagine spotting a harbor seal at 5,000 feet doing 400 knots, you know, you blink, you're like, what was that? For us, 100 knots, 1,000 feet above the ground, you go, oh, that's a harbor seal, and that has some black spots on it. I think it's important that people know that what we're doing, and we're out there trying to obtain research for the betterment of the environment and for the Earth as a whole, and I believe what we're doing is very important. In addition to managing the National Marine Sanctuaries, NOAA has partnered with other state and federal agencies to help patrol other environmental resources in the region, including California's recently established marine protected areas along the coast. So at our starboard window, you'll see uh, a number of state reserves for passing Stormy Stack and Double Point, Point Resistance, uh, the Estero, and also uh, Drake Estero of the Near Point Race. With the NOAA Twin Otter, we are a presence out in the sanctuary. And if we were to see a violation, say, uh, an oil discharge from a, a commercial ship, then we would call the, the relevant agency, in that case, the United States Coast Guard. We also work with the NOAA Office of Law Enforcement, supporting their missions. And if there was a violation, 
of a sanctuary regulation, they would be the ones to help us enforce it. Having spent years on the waters and, and under the waters at Cordell Bank, now flying with a twin otter, we have a fresh perspective, a bird's eye view of the sanctuary, and in one day we can see everyone who's out there, and it's just amazing.